guys, what's up? It's Melody and today we're going to be talking about the subject that I've been dying to get to, my favorite subject of all time, and that is floating. And not floating in the sense of sitting in a saline solution and letting all your mind and troubles go, but floating in regards to elevated organization, as I like to call it, because it takes organization to the next level. So this is definitely the video to share and to save, because this will save you so much time in regards to cleaning. It will save you so many holes in the wall that you might try to put in. It will just save you so much all the way around and it will make your place look elevated and spacious. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe so we can see you next Sunday. We're gonna get right into this and the very first way to make things float is to use your cordless drill. You want to use your cordless drill to put in anchors into the wall for these mini white shelves because these mini white shelves I use all of the time three different places in the house and they just make so much sense because they blend in with the wall they're so easy to clean because the surface area is so little and yet they hold up even something really heavy like this flameless candle or something heavy like a concrete planter with a succulent in it. So it holds up a lot of weight and it's very convenient because if you have an office in your house and you wanna keep lotion nearby or you wanna keep your phone nearby, this is the perfect um, surface area. You can just put it right next to your office and then your desk will always be clean and easy to wipe down and perfect for putting all your paperwork on there. All the little stuff is not cluttering it up. So this makes so much sense. I also really like it for oil and salt and pepper in the kitchen. That's probably my favorite way to use these little shelves. When you are cooking in the kitchen, you don't want splatters and spills getting all over a really big shelf. So if you're keeping everything out on big open shelving, then it will get dirty and there's so much to clean, but these are very convenient. So can't recommend them highly enough. You have to watch my video on how to install the clear shelving because that's how you will install these as well and clear shelving is my next favorite way to elevate things using the cordless drill because the clear shelves just blend straight into the background so you can put a nice plant on there you can put your shoes on there or you can put your trash can on there which is what I do for the bathroom because in the bathroom I want to grab my cordless vacuum I want to vacuum quickly every other day without having to move things out of the way so the clear shelf makes so much sense it elevates the trash so that it's easier to get things into the trash can the ideal way to make anything float is to use velcro that's because you'll have a lot less trial and error a lot less holes in your wall Velcro is the best method by far. I even like it more than command strips, but command strips we're gonna get to as well. Velcro is better than command because the stickiness of it is a lot better and it is also more affordable. So when you buy your Velcro, you should get it all in a roll, all in a nice white roll. I prefer white because it kind of blends in with everything. You don't want to get the little pieces of Velcro because it you're going to end up spending so much money to get it all pre-cut. So get the roll of Velcro, preferably white, and you will be able to use it for so many things. To give you an idea of some of the ways I've used it, I've used it for my makeup palette, my Z palette. I just put a couple of Velcro on the back and I also put one little Velcro over here so I can even have it on the wall and I can open it up and stick a little Velcro on the wall and it will pop up and stick to the wall and hold itself open so I can do my makeup on the wall if I want to do it that way, if I'm doing a really quick look. You can also do that for your lip palette. You can stick it on the wall with Velcro. Other things that you can use it for is your nail clipper. As a court reporter, I have to keep my nails short so I cut them every Monday, but the nail clipper is not gonna have a surface space that Velcro will stick to. So what you do is you grab some glue and you stick it to the back of your lotion or the back of your nail clipper and you glue it to the back of it so that it will stay there and therefore you can pretty much make anything float. There is also waterproof velcro and really sturdy velcro and this kind of velcro is very useful for when you want to hang heavy things like lightweight mirrors or for instance my dishwasher pods they were very heavy so I needed to use heavy duty velcro. You can also hang your simple human soap dispensers in the bathtub with heavy duty waterproof velcro and it will stay there. You're not going to have to use any silicone glue. So 
Velcro is king. I can't account the ways in which I've used Velcro in my house, but probably the biggest use for Velcro is for remotes. So my candle remote, my fairy light remote, and also TV remotes. You can elevate them underneath nightstands, underneath side tables, so they just blend in with the decor. They don't take any space, but yet they're so easy to access. This really works well with the remote control system that I always talk about because that one will go through walls. So in other words, once you put it up with Velcro, you don't even have to take the remote down. You can just reach over and hit the button and it will work because you don't need to point it at any Anything. Probably my favorite thing about it is that everything can go from the bottom. You can also use it for little baggies. So in my pantry, I have little baggies that dispense napkins and also dispense packets. And you can use it to dispense Kleenex as well in the bedroom. Get creative because you can't go wrong with Velcro and it's so easy to remove. It doesn't damage anything buy a couple of rolls because believe me you'll find a million and one uses and as time goes on and you declutter and you also hide more things then you'll realize what really makes sense to elevate and most of what makes sense to elevate I've mentioned in this video. My next favorite way on which to elevate things in the house is to buy furniture that is either mounted onto the wall or that is elevated on stilts. And the reason why I like this is because it makes cleaning around it and vacuuming so easy and it kind of elevates the room because big block furniture makes the room look heavy and weighed down, but elevated furniture makes it look airy because the air is circulating all underneath the furniture. So I really like that. Instead of a basket in the living room, I have a stool there and I really like that because the stool is easy to vacuum under. I don't have to move it around like I had to move a basket and it makes the room look nice and airy. And the same thing with my furniture in my bedroom. I highly recommend you check out my blog post on elevated nightstands, the ones that mount to the wall. These are especially good if you live in a really small apartment and also if you just like maximum efficiency when cleaning. You can also elevate lighting. So almost all high-end condos and also houses, mansions, they have built-in lighting. And you can also get that as well even if you don't don't own your place. You can get lighting that mounts to the wall with a clear cord so the cord kind of blends in with the background. But basically you want to elevate your television or elevate your lighting if you can. Obviously I have lamps in this house but if I ever buy lighting in the future I'm definitely going to go for the elevated lighting look. So remember if you have lamps and things that are stationary on things they will have to be lifted up and cleaned around. It just makes so much sense to have it elevated as much as possible. It makes cleaning so much easier. You can also get fairy lights if you're on a budget because fairy lights are elevated and also very easy to dust around. My very last way to elevate things is to use command strips. I love command strips. I love the way it clear looks. I love the way it blends into the background. It has a better aesthetic in my opinion than Velcro and that's the primary reason for it. But hooks just make things a lot easier. So hooks are perfect for elevating pot lids inside of your kitchen. So your pot lids are on the kitchen door, on the cabinet door. Therefore they're easy to put back and easy to find and they're not falling over each other. Clear hooks also work well for elevating small cleaning brushes like dish brushes or the small grout brush that I really love. This clear brush is perfect for cleaning any stains that are caked on anything in the kitchen or on the floor that's caked on in the sink in the tub the perfect multi-purpose brush. This hook works perfect for these little brushes like that. It also works perfect if you don't have a recycling bag inside of your trash can. So some trash cans come with two and you might want to recycle but you don't want to have to buy a new trash can. Just get one of the heavy duty hooks and these heavy duty hooks are perfect for storing your handbag. You can also use it to keep up your bath mat. These hooks don't work the best in a human environment and they don't work the best on textured walls. So they work perfect inside of cabinets because cabinets are nice and smooth but walls not as good. Not unless they're the five pound heavy duty hooks, then they will stick for good because the stickiness is really like the stickiness of Velcro. I hope that this video helped you out on all the ways that you can use Velcro, all the ways that you can use command strips, 
how you can elevate everything in your house, I'm telling you, if you even just give some of these tips a try, it will revolutionize organization and cleaning forever. I cannot recommend these floating tips enough. So if you like this video, definitely subscribe so that I can see you next Sunday in the next Minimalist and Organization video.